looking for the cheapest coins on the internet right now look no further than my sponsor mutt coin bank guys you seriously cannot beat that value i promise use code poodle for five percent off your order what's going on everybody it's poodle back with another madden ultimate team video guys and today i'm gonna be going over the remaining promos guys that we are still waiting for in mutt now if you guys don't already know there's been a few promos that we've been expecting this year. There's been a few leaked promos that has led way for us to expect it. And there's been some promos from past years that we've been waiting for as well. So there's a decent handful of promos, at least for the most part, that I'm really, really excited for that I really hope come out. And I'll go over those as we do get through the video, of course. Now, for my base account, we have one, two, three, four, five, six promos so far that I have on hand that I really want to see back. Now, of course, there's going to be a few more that maybe you guys are expecting, but... I'm going to go over those briefly as we get through each and every one. Now, guys, before we get into today's video, make sure to go down below, hit that subscribe button, turn on that noti bell, boys. Come give this video a big thumbs up. As always, if you haven't already, head on over to Muck Coin Bank and use code Poodle at checkout if you want some super cheap coins. And that's about it. So let's get into this, guys. So we have a handful of promos. Like I said, we have about six to seven, actually, that I'm going to I'm going to be mentioning today and going in them. Now, they won't all be in-depth. Obviously, that would be a very long video that you guys aren't here for, right? I'm going to go over them quickly, briefly, briefly, so you guys have an idea. Kind of go over the rundown and what kind of timelines we could be expecting for each and every promo. Now let's head on over to those promos. Okay, yeah, so the first promo is the positional or position heroes promo. Now, position heroes promo has been around for as long as Mutt's pretty much been around. It's been a staple in Madden for years. Last year was the first year that they actually cut it out for what it feels like forever. I mean, it could have been years before that too, but again, as long as I've been playing, I've pretty much seen it. Positional heroes is similar to team of the year. It's like a post team of the year where they just give every player at each position a top card. Now it's not, it's, you know, it's one specific player that hasn't gotten an upgrade. So pretty much it's like the team of the year, you know, B team, right? That's how I kind of see it. Obviously higher overalls, but it's like the players that didn't get picked for team of the year that do deserve a card now kind of a thing. So positional heroes, what would that have come out? Uh, by this point, it should have, it should have came out like now it would be out. It would just about be out now. So it's still within the picture of like getting it. But at this point, it would have just been about out because I do recall it coming out in around March, April ish. So that's about the time we can kind of expect it. Positional heroes in the past have been, you know, to build them, you put in players from throughout the year. To build them, you put in players from their position, though. That's usually the key. Could they change that? Maybe. Could it be Team of the Week players? Maybe. But I think it's going to be fun. It's going to be, it comes out, right, of course. Now, they, they could be cutting a few promos this year. But they have brought some new ones, right? They brought, like, all rookie. They brought Mud Heroes back, but I don't really consider that, you know, bringing back because we should have had that back in September, right? The first one. This would have been part two. It's like they just skipped the first one and gave us part two and called it Mud Heroes, right? It is what it is. But Positional Heroes definitely is going to be fun. Now, the next promo we have, guys, is going to be the Color Smash promo. Now, that's actually the most recent promo. That will be coming up shortly in uh, April. Of course, that is the Easter promo, known as the Color Smash promo for Madden purposes. Um, Color Smash promo is definitely really fun. Should include an Easter egg hunt. Should include some players. Uh, and personally, do I like it? I think if they get the Easter egg hunt right, it's one of the more fun promos of the year. But that's only and it's if and only they get the Easter egg hunt right. Otherwise, just a, it's just a bundle of players that are going to be high overalls that can get chemmed up to things we already have, right? Because at this point in the year, that's another thing that they, that Madden seems to forget sometimes is like, you know, they just start dropping promos on 99 overall players. Like, yes, we love 99 overall players, but eventually everyone's 99 anyways, right? So getting, you know, receiver A versus receiver B, who both has 99 speed, regardless of name, is almost the same receiver, right? Difference and key is how they give them to us, right? Giving them to us in Easter egg hunts or blockbuster explosive promos. That is the key. It's, it's like, you know, putting keys in front of a dog, you know, whistling. It's one of those things like it distracts us a little bit. It keeps it. It makes us want cards, even if they're the same as the card we got last promo, right? And the issue is it's not, you know, it's not their fault that the cards are the same. It, it gets to a point where you can only get up to 99 stats, which is why I kind of hope we go to 100 plus stats this year. It would only make sense. It would definitely increase the longevity of the game. But Color Smash is the next full promo now. Next, we got the golden tickets. Now, I'm getting kind of worried about these guys. I haven't heard much. We haven't been confirmed too much just yet. Now, I do. Th I, I am pretty confident that we will get it. But, you know, at, with them cutting the stream schedule, it's only two days. Like, it was like, okay, guys, it's going to be three days a week. And then shortly, it's like, yeah, actually, only two days a week. Like, it is so dead right now. And I'm getting very concerned for golden tickets. I do hope they do do it. I don't. I have hope in them, though. I have hope. Only thing is that last year, like I said, the reason I know the timeline of golden tickets so well, besides going on YouTube and, you know, checking up a video of it, is that I was actually away on vacation at Zerk's house when this came, when uh, the golden tickets were being pulled and like we were like helping create them and stuff. So I remember very vividly the timeline. I was there, you know, the week of March 12th to like the 21st, and that was all going on. So as of March 6th, it actually was confirmed that, you know, like the first drop, and then those were the days people were making them. So I, by this point, March 24th, they're already almost in game, if not already in game. So we still have that whole process to do. So 
I hope it comes soon, guys, because, you know, after like a month of waiting for it, beyond date, you start to think it may never come right now. In years past, golden tickets weren't even out this early, so I'm not, you know, I'm not too uh, critical just yet, because in years past, golden tickets just come out like April and May. April more, I think more on Easter. So I'm not too critical just yet. But moving on, guys, we have the draft promo as well. So if you guys saw here, we call a color smash and draft are going to go very similar, like in timeline. They're going to be very close together, of course, because drafts and Easter aren't too far apart. And of course, the way the timelines work, I kind of like how Mutt Heroes overlap a few promos. You guys know the deal with how that stuff goes just sometimes. Now, draft class promo, very simple. Going to be drafted players and players drafted in the past, right? It's like first overall pick, Cam Newton. First overall pick, you know, RG3. Uh, first overall pick, or... Maybe Andrew Luck. I forget who was first in that draft. Anyways, uh, first overall pick, uh, what's it called? Baker Mayfield. First overall pick, Joe Burrow. It could be a guy that was taking, you know, undrafted play like Chris Harris or late uh, late round guy. You know, you never really know. It could just be, it could be any player ever drafted. So again, it's not, you can't really predict those. But we have gotten a few Cam Newtons in the past. They always like to give us Cam Newton. Uh, but of course, we will get current, we will get current players too, which is going to be like Trevor Lawrence, um, you know, Patrick Sertain. Jamar Chase, Devonta Smith, Najee Harris. There's gonna be a few guys, right? There's gonna be they're gonna be fun. They're gonna be rookies to play with. We really can't argue that. That promo is gonna be fun, but it's very to the point. Next promo that I've been waiting for, and we actually did get some reveals for earlier in the year, is the blockbuster promo. That's what it used to look like, guys. Right here in the red. I don't know if you could see it. If you can't block Odell right here, Le'Veon Bell, Jalen Ramsey pack, George, uh, not George Kittle. Where is it? Uh, right here. DeAndre Hopkins, Joe Staley, Justin Tucker, Le'Veon Bell, guys. Blockbuster used to be so much fun. That's what I'm saying. It was like an explosive action movie promo, right? This is probably like Madden 17, Madden 18, maybe. Um, so this was like a, this was like an explosive promo, right? So like, it was like you know Odell Beckham Jr. is what is it called? Marketing and and publicity manager, wide receiver, because that's what he is, right? He's he's this he's this receiver who you know he's the face, right, of the market. Then you have DeAndre Hopkins, who is, let's see, he's the he's an actor, and then let's see who else we got. Le'Veon Bell is the editor. Okay, so he's you know he's chopping and cutting things up, right? That, that that's pretty unique. Uh, that's a unique one right there. Justin Tucker is the screenwriter. Uh, let's see who we got. Joe Staley is the camera operator from behind the scenes, but you know does all the dirty work. I, so like it was interesting, right? It's fun. It makes you want it makes you want to get this Odell, right? Regardless, all 99 stats obviously, but it makes you want to get that card definitely fun and these cards are even more in game than the other ones these are the ones that are like max to the max and like even stupid things like odell might have some throw power and stuff like that's that kind of level but yeah that's gonna be fun as well and then if you click you see here right here tons of uh promo animation like i think there's someone's thumbnail shout out oh it's actually zerk of course uh right here you see this is another promo wants to talk about the uh space uh program there's a program that was leaked a few weeks ago and we're not sure exactly what it is or you know what it's going to be because we never had anything like this so that's another promo that we are expecting the space program that's the golden ticket um you know golden ticket reveal uh, leak as well so we have golden ticket leak reveal and we have the space prop program and one final one that i do want to talk about is player spotlights or program stars which is right here as you guys can see uh denzel ward and george kittle now right here on the right is called program stars i do really want to see that promo back because what program stars essentially was they found one player from every promo in the year that that was like the meta player from that time and gave him a 99 end game card so you know back during a uh, superstar mvp promo when Lamar Jackson got that 89 overall, like 90 speed quarterback, and everyone went crazy, and that was like the meta card for a little bit. They would give Lamar Jackson 99 overall card, and on the back it would say Superstar MVP. And that so like pretty much he got a you know a pack a punch superstar MVP card that's now 99 overall. Or like during the Christmas promo, everyone liked Bo Jackson, so Bo Jackson gets a 99 overall star and says, you know, uh zero chill on it. So that, that's kind of how that works, guys. But that is about it for the video. Hope you guys do enjoy plenty of video, plenty of uh, promos there in general. So lots of hope for it watch them go i hope they don't strike out right i mean if they cut out one or two that's fine just don't cut out most of them that's about it if you got if you enjoyed today's video subscribe turn that noti bell give this video a big thumbs up and of course comment down below and if you guys need coins head over to my coin bank down below thanks so much for watching i'm out peace